morning, Dixie Heights. And a special good morning to Miss Turner. Today is October 21st. I'm Bridget. And I'm Bella. And this is the, the Dixie, Dixie Heights News. News. Calling all adventures! D&D will be held in Miss Hume's room 1306 this week from 2.40 till 4. Grab your bags of holding and sense of humor and join your commanders on a journey through wild and untamed places. The Saga Club will be meeting Tuesday in Miss Hume's room from 2.40 until 3.45. Saga helps put the eye in pride by allowing students to have a space to build a supportive and inclusive community. All students who are part of or supporting the LGBTQ community are welcome to join the student-led group. Hope to see you there and have a fabulous day. The Student Club Roundup Contest for the Ham Radio Club begins Monday, today, at 2.45. All Ham Radio Club members are encouraged to sign up for a time slot to participate in the contest. The contesting schedule is Monday, that's today, 2.45 to 5 p.m., Tuesday, that's tomorrow, 6 to 8.30, Wednesday, 2.45 to 5, Thursday, 5 to 8.30. Friday, 2.45 to 5. All students and staffs are welcome to stop by Ms. Edmondson's room 0305 to see the radio station participate in the contest. And now to lunch with Owen and Alan. This is lunch with Eliani. And Landon. Today's lunch is rib sandwich, potato wedges, coleslaw, peaches, cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, uncrustable box, and entree salad with croutons. <laughs> Tomorrow's breakfast is croissant sandwich, fruit choice, milk, cereal, and juice. Now, now back, back to the mainstream news. news. Exciting news from Miss Miller. Hannah's Heroes will be making its triumphant return, and she needs your help. For those that do not know, Hannah's Heroes is a mentoring program designed to allow high school students to mentor grade school students. Mentoring takes many forms, which could be playing video games, tutoring, talking, eating ice cream that Miss Miller pays for. If you're interested in being part of Hanner's Heroes, see the QR codes around the school or see Ms. Miller for more information. And, and now, now to sports. sports. Good morning, Dixie Heights. I'm James. And I'm Carson. And this is the Dixie Heights Sports. It's, it's a, a great, great day, day at Dixie. Dixie. Interested in trying out for the boys lacrosse team? If so, conditioning will be Monday and Wednesday starting October 9th from 3 to 4.30. See Mr. Shively or Mr. Hooper for details. Our football team beat Scott last Friday 48-14 with two touchdown passes from Mason Fields to D J.J. Krieger and Duncan Linville and rushing touchdowns from Motion Dave and Armani Gregg. Our football team plays Cooper this Friday, kickoff at 7. The theme is blackout and this Friday is our senior night so make sure to be there. Today's athlete of the day is... Tate Recton. Make sure to give him a high five. Now, now back, back to, to the, the mainstream, mainstream news. news. Buddy Club is excited to announce that we are going to have our first meeting of the year. We will meet after school in the cafeteria on October 22nd. That's tomorrow. Till 4 p.m. We will have snacks and games. Feel free to wear your Halloween costume. If you are interested in being a buddy, there's a QR code on the bulletin board by room 2111 or you can email Miss Lynn. Now to Motivational Monday. Good morning, Dixie Heights. I'm Harper Noel. And I'm Cam Nobles. We're members of the Dixie Heights Hope Squad, and we wanted to share some interesting things about mental health. Mental health issues are widespread in every community, in every country, on every continent. One in four people worldwide are afflicted by mental illness at some point in their lives, with women being more likely than men to be diagnosed. Women are twice as likely to seek help for mental health concerns, which explains why they are diagnosed more. Each year, the, glo the global economy loses $1 trillion due to anxiety and depression. The economy is impacted by mental illness because of the increase in uh, unemployment and decreased work. Unaddressed mental health issues can lead to homelessness and poverty. It's estimated that 67% of the homeless population have a current mental illness and 77% have experienced mental illness at some point in their lives. The stats that Kim just shared show us the importance of getting help. Close to 70% of people who seek out treatment are able to recover and live very productive lives. Just imagine the impact if 100% of people sought out treatment. If you need mental health help, you can reach out to your school counselor. Now, now to, to the mainstream, mainstream news. news. Picture retakes will be held on Tuesday, October 22nd. Also tomorrow. 
underclassmen can have their picture taken from 7 to 10. Seniors needing their picture taken must come between 10 through 12. Seniors, please wear, please wear a tank top under your clothes so that it's easy to take your formal tuck straight photo. If you're doing a retake, you must bring your ordered pictures with you. We'd like to wish Carson Lloyd a happy belated birthday. If you see her in the hall, make sure you wish her a happy birthday. And remember, Dixie, make today better than yesterday.